New York. We won't get there today, but we have 17 hours on the road ahead of us that we will find a way to conquer between now and tomorrow. It is 5.08, there's the truck, and there's Dad. Let's do this thing. You ready, Captain? No, no. You. Let's do it. stop we are actually at the world's largest truck stop here at interstate 80 gassing up for the first time this budget truck doesn't really get good gas mileage from the last truck stop we stopped at which didn't have the gas we needed we went from just under half a tank to about a fourth of a tank and that was only about 24 miles probably so it goes by pretty quick but as you saw earlier in the dark this is our our commuter for 17 hours, about 1,200 miles. Driving without cruise control sucks. That's actually not so bad. My, my heel is asleep from on the accelerator the whole time, but we're making it work. We'll go inside and show you around. Yeah, goodbye. The world's largest truck stop. What's even been updated since I was in here last? Let's just... Uh, take the back off the budget truck, put it on this, and we'll drive this there. Probably gets about the same gas mileage. <laughs> Old Ford. Whole place, massive. Super cool. We're here. Well, we're in Erie, Pennsylvania at our hotel for the night. It was about 13 and a half hours on the road, raining about uh, a good 11 and a half, if not 12 of that. Overall, it went really well. But anyways, as I tiredly stumble up, this is our room. Check it out. Not too shabby. We went to IHOP and enjoyed some food because we basically just snacked all day. This is my Titanic pose. Draw me, Jack. Yeah. Getting up in the morning, we got about six, it'll probably turn out to be six and a half to seven with stops and all that um, before we head to the final destination, Kukasaki in New York. And then we'll probably unload the truck from there. Some, maybe all, if we're lucky. And uh, then we will fly out of New York on Tuesday. So we are going to rest on these beds and these pillows, get some shut-eye, and start a whole new day in the morning. We will see you then. Your way on the highway. Your way or the highway. Good morning, it's day two, and it's raining still. So that's exciting. God. We can't get away from it all day yesterday, except for the first probably two and a half hours, maybe three. It is what it is. We're at the classic old pilot station, gassing up the hog, ready to drive on. Let's see how, how far we gotta go. So it's just after eight right now, and our arrival time, it's 2.42 this afternoon. So nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, six hours. So about just over six hours with the rain and with stops, about seven. So we're not far from Syracuse, New York, and uh, it's been raining this whole time and we just came up on a whole lot of stopped traffic and we weren't sure why. Well, as we get closer, I'll show you why. You know, Dad, I don't, I don't know if this even uh, took place that long ago because there's people running down to it. Hey, Dad. Oof, jackknife too. Probably okay. shaking up. So 
that's why we were slowed down. Everybody was okay, seemingly, but a scary situation. Grateful that we were not involved. Kusaki and we're going into Seth and Kaylee's new place. So let's go check it out. It's not entirely done. So Seth's uh, father-in-law, literally it was turning his basement into a little apartment since April. So let's see how it looks. And there's Munch. So this is the place. Like I said, still a work in progress. We got the brand new shower here. Toilet and all that will go here and then walk out. And this will kind of be, basically it'll be a studio apartment. And then bed and all that stuff will be over here. Got the kitchen and the pantry will be here. And if we go out here, this will be Seth's office. So all his computer editing equipment and all that will be in the hallway here. And this is the entryway. Pretty cool, man. Hey, Munchie. Oh, she knows I'm gonna No munchers. You're so cute. You're so cute. This, hey, hold on. This is for Pedro. <laughs> the time has come to unload the heavy things for the several hours. Join us, please, and enjoy our displeasure, our torture. <laughs> That's not. not yet. That's okay. But now we are majority taking, of it. yeah, the majority. Now we're taking the truck that you see right there in the mirror. The truck that we drove all the way out here, we're taking that back. So we got to drive to Albany, New York to do that. So just chilling with the brother. Yeah. Going on a little road trip and then we're going to go goof around, find something fun to do, something to eat. See what, but look at the mountains. Yeah. It's for sure my our backyard. Yeah. Oh, you heard it here first, kids. Gonna eat, see some good stuff today. Thatcher Park, New York. Let's go. We're out here. Oh my goodness gracious! Whoa. <laughs> We're at an overlook up here now, outside of Albany. And I literally just looked. Holy cow! This is pretty cool. Check this out. Wow, those farms down there. Yeah, these are so cool too because they have like they're heavy. Yeah, and they're huge. Ooh, look at that place right there. Yeah, I know, right down there. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, yeah, right down yeah, there. Was... Where's Albany? Oh, is that is that it right there? That's Albany, yeah. So that's where we were downtown. Okay, so Albany's way out there. Oh, that's a cliff that we're on. Okay, right, that'll, so that's, that'll that'll tighten your butthole real quick. Cat skills over there. All so over ones? here, cat skills. I'm pretty sure those are the. Adirondack Mountains. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, gotta get down, boss. Okay. He could stay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That, that's why I didn't respond to his haze. Yeah. 
Hey. Hey. There he is. We're a little bit uh, closer to the edge now because we're allowed to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. This is a view. Look at this sucker, huh? Look at there. Like a Grand Canyon kind of stuff here. Look at that. That's better than over there. Yeah, I mean, you can't see as far, except for this direction. Think it hurt if we fell? Okay. Think it hurt? Yeah. Yeah? You gotta watch your step here. That's where we were earlier today. But now we're just over here on the edge, just hanging out. A little trail down there. It's 10 after six. Good hair day though. Well, the time has come. Seth's on his way to pick us up, take us to the airport in Albany. Dad is checking out of the hotel, and I'm standing out here in a state of retrospect, because the next couple hours are going to suck. Yep. They're going to suck. It's good, dude. It's, just thank you, Jesus, for having people around. The wind is already on the porch, like, talking to me, and, uh, you know, telling me it's okay, and this and that. So that's that's nice to have that support. Ha! <sighs> we'll get there. Yep. It's gonna take some time. It was hard on Jesse. Got married and moved out. Yeah. That was big tough. adjustment. Very tough. Big so. adjustment. But. You have to tell. I'll tell, I'll tell mom too. Just tell her how tough this could be, and it's like I want her to know that it wasn't because. Hers wasn't harder. Oh, no. It's different. It's different. Yeah. I'll try to do something to solve them. Yeah, if, Bye. If, Bye. We can do, if we can put something together. There is. Skype and then use some stuff. Skype. FaceTime. No, good things, good things, good things. Yeah. Let's do this thing, man. I think we're hitting turbulence. It's not well with my soul. Foreign ground, I don't know. But still, you hold on when I let go. Your position isn't permanent. It's a season untold Stay in ground when it unfolds So you can have peace in the unknown Fear tries to hold you back Pray faith helps you go for You don't have to ever look back I'll keep you safe through the whole storm So we don't have to hurt again Hold tight, gotta feel the wind picking up Stand firm through the turbulence What did you say? Turbulence Long time you made me cry, but I missed it for too long <laughs> Wings and fly away. Feel the weight of the world and it's overwhelming. Don't rain on my parade. Feel the wind and the waves and the crashing against my boat when I'm okay. Cause I got the faith to pray when I'm drifting and put it in the mind decay. Okay, will I be content if it all goes away in you? Look at all the hardship we've been through. Try to bring change when I make these moves. Yeah, I think in the base and making these tools. So why be upstairs studying for nursery? We ain't got a place staying in the grave. Let's get to let it out. So finally, finally. Good. It's good. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Give her lots of hugs and wish she could have been. It would have been much better to have it all together. Love you guys. Love you too. Love you too man. Let me know when you get to Chicago. Just text it up. Oh, we love her. We do. Pushing your stuff down, make sure everything gets up there. before but we're officially through security now so it's just smooth sailing all the way to Des Moines at this point we'll stop in Chicago as we with every step get a little farther from Seth so on to the next okay so we're finally in our seats now we had a 15 minute delay that turned into a 30 minute delay that turned into a 49 minute delay that turned into a 54 minute delay and so now it is 11.46 and we're to depart at 11.54, get to Chicago. We have to get a completely different flight because our flight connecting to Des Moines is going to leave before we can get to it. So we had to switch airlines and hop in with American. So once we get to Chicago, we gotta go to a different gate, get some boarding passes there. And then it's home, last shot in New York. In Des Moines. Finally made it, sat in the runway here in Des Moines for about an hour. We're almost there. I'm sure Tiny's ready to leave too. She's been he sitting here for about an hour as well. There she is. There's Tiny. <laughs> We did it. We did it. We did it. I'm only a two hand hugger. I'm not a one laser. Good to see you. Well, after everything, I'm sure. Good to see you too. Thanks for waiting and being patient. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. We did it. Sure Time to go home. I wish you were here.